Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be just kind of a general discussion about Yaga, the Insatiable, because today is kind of the day that a lot of people in the raid community are going to be acquiring him from the login reward, so let's get into it. Alrighty, uh, sorry, I don't know how long this video is going to be, um, but I at least wanted to get something out just to kind of give people a little bit of direction if they're like, oh, who's this Yaga champion? Should I use him? Should I level him? Uh, you know, what's he good at? What's he bad at? So we're going to kind of do a general, just kind of quick discussion here. Um, and if we see the daily uh, login rewards right here uh we can see day 60 is yaga and uh for people who were kind of in the later stages of playing the game when uh polarium reset all this stuff 30 days ago um you know more experienced players started at 31 and that means today i got yaga so it means a lot of people in a similar position to me got yaga now if you're a newer uh newer player you're still you know you're getting like high katoon now or you're working towards high katoon um but a lot of people in the community are going to be acquiring yaga the insatiable today so let's kind of uh pull him up here in the uh skinwalkers he is an epic force and he actually has a pretty good attack score he's, he's uh you know categorized as an attack champion he's got the big kind of green you know mace here and that's because he really revolves around poison uh with him having so much green i'm kind of surprised he's not spirit but he is force which is good because he fills a good role um a lot of newer to mid game players are gonna struggle against the force affinity so um i honestly would have liked his role to be spirit now that i think about it and kind of talk myself through it because then he would counter force i think he would have a lot stronger of a foothold in the uh mid, mid game community if he was spirit um because like i said a lot of people are struggling against the force affinity clan boss and if he were spirit there would be a little bit more incentive for people to six star him and invest in him and build him up um we always want to look at the base stats we've got 15,000 is a decent hp score um he's got a pretty high attack score so he's gonna scale well with attack sets but uh i don't really think that's good because generally in clan boss fights you're trying to live as long as possible so you can get as many giant slayer war master uh, and debuff procs as possible so we don't really uh, in general sometimes you do but in general we don't stack a ton of attack or build like glass cannons against the clan boss so just to kind of refresh on his abilities here he's got an a1 that attacks once with a 40 percent chance of placing a five percent poison for two turns we can book that up to 50 percent chance and then his a2 is going to attack one enemy twice and each hit has a 50 percent chance of placing a five percent poison for two turns and we can get plus 25 on that getting it to a 75 percent chance hitting twice which is pretty good and then the a3 is going to attack once and damage increased by 25% if the target's under a poison debuff, which is going to be permanent. We get that to four turns, and uh, you know, looks like the damage scales pretty well. We get 30% damage on a four turn cooldown, plus the 25% if it's under poison, which your enemies are basically always going to be poisoned if Yaga is hitting them. And then we get an all battles are uh, accuracy uh, by 40, which is good. This is a pretty good early to mid game aura for the clan boss i don't know how viable it is late game it is still decently viable but definitely uh better in the early to mid game at least it's something you can bring to the clan boss for your team to land those uh you know debuffs a little bit more often so um the big question is you know where would i rate him and should you invest in him and all that stuff currently in my epic tier list i have yaga pretty much right in the middle He's kind of in the middle of the good tier. My, my tier lists usually go god tier, excellent, good, bad, terrible. And I've got Yaga kind of right in the middle of the good tier. Uh, you know, uh, he, he does have some utility in the clan boss, but that's basically it. Um, if you're playing like a super defensive style, um, you know, trying to do like sustain clears of certain dungeons to push your uh, you know to get your dungeon level as high as possible he will do a lot of damage over time which can scale you know you know decently if you're playing that sustain style so he has a little bit of utility there but he's not really going to be like a 
like a speed farm dungeon character so and he's not going to be good in the arena or the campaign he's really just going to be a clan boss specialist um so i guess my recommendation would be if you are an early to mid game player it's probably not a bad idea to six star yaga because you will probably use him pretty often he's going to be good against the force and uh and magic affinity clan bosses and if you're one of those people who struggles against the force boss this will be a good champion to add to your roster so that you can do a little bit better against that force clan boss um how many books does he take four uh, 10 oh he takes 15 books that's a little rough. You know, you compare that to, uh, you know, a, a Force Champion like Doom Priest or something that takes like four or five. Um, Fifteen books is a lot. You know, if you are going to book him... Yeah, and he doesn't even... I His books should get this to like a three-turn cooldown at level seven or something. But then he would be really good. Yeah, that's tough. Um... That's so many books. Um, okay, so if you're an early to mid-game player, he's probably worth six-starring. Um, I may not want to invest 15 epic skill books in him, but, you know, hey, if, if you're if you're a premium player and you plan on, you know, buying books, then sure, maybe. If you're a free-to-play player, you may want to hold off on investing in Yaga because you may want to spend those epic books somewhere else on a more generally used champion like if you get a Tyrell or something you might want to save those books if you get a really good epic um so yeah if you're free to play you probably don't want to invest a bunch of books but you might want to six star him he'll still bring decent value if you six star him even if you don't book him because like i said you don't get the cooldown on this except for this one and this one's not a huge deal you're mainly worried about the poisons so, um, yeah, not super necessary to, to uh, book him. You'll still get decent value out of a six-star one. So, yeah, basically the gist is if you're free to play, you might not want to book him. Um, but if you're an early to mid-game player, he's probably worth six-starring because he's going to help you out in the clan boss. You'll probably use him for a while, to, uh, especially if you're somebody who's kind of lagging behind the rest of your clan. This might help you do a little bit more. Uh, you know, work for your team. If you're an end game player, I question how viable Yaga is going to be against like brutal and nightmare clan bosses because he doesn't really apply any buffs for your team or any debuffs for the clan boss. Like normally you want to buff your team's defense or provide heals or, you know, like cast an attack down on the on the clan boss or a defense down you know something or a weaken you normally want in the end game some buff value or some debuff value which yaga doesn't really bring to the table so yeah um you know definitely let me know what you guys think down in the comments i always love to hear your input and you know if you have any questions definitely leave a comment and i'll do my best to uh you know get back to you and help you out so yeah as always thank you for watching have a good rest of your day peace